What's going on YouTube? Um, so now I'm back. I'm back with a new week. Week 2 of my um, kind of ish program. I kind of changed it up again. Look back at my um, my full program and see what I want to change about it. And I changed a little bit more. I um, haven't fully switched it up yet. Tomorrow you will see the official beginning of the first week. Officially. In a way. But this one, this uh, the legs today, squat day, this was basically a play around of what I want to do. And then um, just figuring out how I want to attack this new program. So I've written up the first four weeks of it into it. So you guys will see, you guys won't see like a full like Excel spreadsheet or anything like that. But it's just going to be me lifting throughout the whole week, increasing very soon, increasing very slowly. I mean, very soon, what am I talking about? Um, I'm holding the camera like this because I just don't have a proper tripod set up right now So I'm just holding it. So I'm just moving around holding it talking to you guys. I miss this camera I miss this camera guys to be honest oh, I miss like talking to you like I haven't spoken to this camera in like four days four or five days And I'm like it feels a little bit unnatural, but you know what? And sorry I'm a little bit sick in the moment. I don't know how I got it. I just feel like every time when I, when I sniff in, I feel like something just, something just hit my nose and I'm just like, I'm about to sneeze right now. But anyways, first working set of my barbell squats, 87.5 kilos at 12 reps. This was really hard. After the last week's I did, what was it? Four sets of 10 for 100. That was like, fucked up. But went down a little bit, looked at my old program that I used to do and then did what I was supposed to do for the first week but I decided I wanted to change it up and do a new program up. Change the intensity, volumes and how I program it. So I decided to do the first week of my old program, just off for legs, just because I want to see if I really wanted to do it and if I think it would be beneficial for me at this point. And I was like, oh, it would be beneficial, but I want to try something new and see how my body reacts to it. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. This was initially hard. This whole workout took me about two and a half hours. I started at like nine o'clock in the morning and I finished at 11.30. So it was almost midday, almost three hours. Most grueling, grueling workout of my life. Just because I was in the hot sun, working out, no AC, no fan. I, I legit thought I was gonna pass out, but I was just drenched in sweat the whole way through. Next exercise, which is barbell static lunges, 60 kilos. First time ever doing this, I always stick to like my 40 kilos, but this was really hard. After doing like 12 on one leg, I was like, you know what, I need to take a rest. I could not, I, I, I tell you this, man, I, I, I could not do it. To be honest, I could not do it. So I took a rest for about 30 seconds and then come back to the next leg, do my 12 reps. I was, I think I was screaming throughout this whole one. I was like, I can't do it, I can't do it. I don't want to shout right now just because it's like 11.30 p.m. So it's almost midnight. I haven't recorded this just because I got lazy, got home, got hungry. Cause I didn't eat this whole day from when I woke up, which was like 5, 6 a.m. I didn't wake, I woke up, Pull my, pull, pull my boss, bowl of cereal, bowl of cereal, had no milk, fuck it, didn't eat until like 7pm, so, I've been tired guys, I've been legit tired, next exercise I did that, which was, uh, four sets of two, 10, for military press, hardest shit of my life, legit, my shoulders felt so weak, like, one of my weakest body parts is, I could just definitely say my shoulders, I did not put a lot of focus into it and I definitely need to put a little bit more focus into it just because I feel weak as hell in my stack. I have small shoulders, I'm a small dude, alright? I'm not big. Um, so I did barbell stiff leg deadlifts, those were a bit hard, those are right, 3 sets of 10 or 12 and then moved on to the next one which was I did kettlebell bent over row, super set that with um, dumbbell curls just because I need some arm pump and I couldn't really think about, I couldn't really figure out what other exercises I really wanted to do so I wanted, I wanted to do some arms, I mean look, 
what's the, there's no hurt in like getting a little bit of arm work in there. Like you've done everything else, super set something with something. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get some like barb, some, some dumbbells and do some curls. Last of all, I need a plank in my life, man. Always need a plank in my life. I feel as though this, um, this workout, my plank has gotten a lot better. I'm starting to feel a lot more in my core. Just because at the start, I just felt it more in my shoulders, my back. Didn't really feel like I was engaging my core a lot. But as, the more I did it, the more I did it every single workout, my core is starting to feel a lot more. And I'm starting to engage it properly. And I feel as though I'm more tight. I'm staying relatively more tight than I used to. So I mean, repetition guys. Rinse and repeat, keep doing the same old thing. I supersetted that with over seated overhead tricep extension. Didn't want to get a bench to sit down on because it's just too much work, so I took that. Donezo. That's the end of the workout, guys. I hope you had a good week. I hope you had a good beginning of the week. Peace.